Tree Project is probably the highlight of second grade for science. A covert mission on helping them understand how to collect facts and organize data and do research, and they love it. The world is a big, amazing, interesting place, and so it's nice that they get to leave the classroom to get to explore it. We've done this project for about 20 years. We originally started in the Cambridge Common, and then probably five years in, we moved to this park. I like the fact that the, what they're working on is really close by, and they can just go to the local park. Uh, I thought it was cool because we got to go on a field trip. And the walk is fun since it's not too far. I think they just really enjoy getting outside and having some independence. The first trip, the kids, a big part of it is just coming and choosing a tree and making some initial observations. You get to walk around the whole park before you select a tree. They have lots of different trees to pick from. You get to write about them and draw pictures and you also get to um, take pictures on the iPad. Oh, that's better. Oh, yeah, 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 that's good. The focus of the second trip is really identifying the tree. We're getting a lot of details about how the tree looks the same and different and about what clues you can find to know what it, the tree's name is. The focus of the third trip is really a measuring trip. We don't actually draw and write here, it's too cold. And then the last trip is kind of a goodbye trip. We do some writing and some painting. So they each have their own little special focus. I like seeing how the trees changed with the seasons, so it taught us about that. They get a chance to see you know, what changes, what does it look like, and how is it affected by uh, the environment. I think when they're here, they're really thinking on their own and working with a partner. They don't really realize that they're doing work. For them, it's just a cool field trip and they get to be outside. It's really fun because you don't have to learn anything. That is truly the goal of everything that we do, that they're learning without feeling like it's learning. And I think Carol has really discovered a vehicle for that. Hopefully they get a connection with nature and an appreciation for nature so that they'll become, you know, green citizens of the world. So many students have had the shared experience and it's part of the fabric of the BBNN lower school. It's a great bonding experience for our, us and our classmates. It's actually funner than I would have expected it. I thought it was just going to be like really boring. And then it's actually fun since the tree that we have I can swing on the branches. With the other trees, they're straight high up, and you can't really climb up them.